Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Water rushing through a sinkhole in the South Bay. Good evening, I'm Rael Creighton. That hole opened up this morning and kept on growing, nearly swallowing a truck that drove by. You can see it fall there. Well, 10 News reporter Jessica Chen is live in Otay Mesa, where residents say they are worried for their safety tonight. Neighbors tell me it sounded like an explosion, and when they walked out of their homes, they saw this large hole in the middle of the street. Now, right now, the roads here are blocked off. SDG&E and the water department, they're all out here fixing it. Sandra Lim Cooler says it was loud. My house shook, so I ran out the front yard. She couldn't believe what she saw. It kind of almost was like an explosion. A nearly 10 foot wide hole right in front of her home on Del So Lane. She says a truck driver nearly fell into it as he drove by. He pulled forward, but he was pretty scared. Emergency crews say the sinkhole was caused by an underground water main break. Gallons of water could be seen shooting out. Sandra says the city has been fixing her street for months. Metal plates line the road, but she says nothing seems to get done. They'll do patchwork, but they never do a really good job at completing it. She thinks all the repair work might have caused the pipe to break. And they keep saying they're going to do something, but it never quite transpires. She says this gaping hole is dangerous. It's really um, become a detriment, and I think that the city really, really needs to get down here and do some work. No one was hurt, but she says she hopes this is a wake-up call to get things fixed. We are always forgotten down here. Now we reached out to the city to ask them how long it'll take for them to fix this, as well as the other repairs on the street. They have not gotten back to us yet. In Otay Mesa, Jessica Chen, 10 News. Jessica, thank you. We had now to breaking news. A police standoff just came to an end on the Las Vegas Strip. Police say a shooting suspect barricaded himself on a bus near the city's Cosmopolitan Hotel for nearly four hours. They say he surrendered peacefully. Investigators say that he had killed one person and wounded another on person on a bus earlier today. Police say the incident is not related to terrorism, but have not said what led to that shooting. Meantime, that shooting just a day after the brazen robbery of a jewelry store inside of a casino, one of those robbers wearing a pig mask. ABC's Maggie Ruley reports gamblers watched it all unfold. Chaos inside the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. Panicked guests on lockdown. Casino tables left empty. Others scrambling to flee the building, seeking safety outside. As a 4.15 man at the Bellagio, advising families of two possible active shooter and a zebra mask. Police say thieves entered the Bellagio shopping mall after midnight, busted through the windows of a jewelry store, and smashed display cases. They use sledgehammers. Witnesses tell ABC News that at least one of the suspects was wearing a pig mask. There was a group of people, and they were all looking uh, towards the Rolex store, and I noticed a person in a pig mask, and he looked like he was holding something long and black in one hand, and and then noticed that he was holding what looked like a gun in the other hand. The thieves took off with the loot to their getaway car. That vehicle failed to start for them. They tried to carjack some other people. Um, that didn't go so well. They were unable to carjack those people. At least one suspect is in custody. Police continue to search for those responsible. We don't have all of the suspects in custody. But we have confident. people, we, we have, we're confident that we have a good trail to lead us to the suspects. Despite early reports, no shots were fired and no one was hurt. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. And now to a crime alert and a warning for anyone who knows a student at UCLA. Police say a man approached a female student on campus yesterday afternoon and asked for directions to the restroom. They say that he then grabbed her, but she was able to get away. Police are investigating. Well, there's new video tonight of violence breaking out at a rally in support of President Donald Trump in Huntington Beach. According to the LA Times, an anti-Trump protester pepper sprayed the event organizer. At that point, a group of Trump supporters jumped on that man, punching and kicking him. The man ran off and jumped a fence before being stopped by CHP officers. The event was one of 40 pro-Trump rallies around the country today. Meantime, the president himself still promising to repeal and replace Obamacare. ABC's David Wright is tracking the latest developments. Before heading out to his golf club in Virginia, President Trump was still ruminating about Friday's health care debacle, tweeting, Obamacare will explode and we will all get together and piece together a great health care plan for the people. Do not worry. Plenty of voters are worried. The plan they had kicked 24 million people 
off of health insurance. The whole point is to hear both sides and come together and, and that's where I'm most frustrated with our government because I don't think they're doing that thing. Today, Vice President Pence was in Charleston, West Virginia, reassuring small business owners. We will end the Obamacare nightmare and give the American people the world-class health care that they deserve. The GOP effort to repeal and replace Obamacare is now in tatters because House Republicans could not marshal enough votes to pass their plan. Obamacare is the law of the land. It's going to remain the law of the land until it's replaced. Some lawmakers now say just walking away from the problem would not be responsible either. Doing nothing is not the answer after this setback. But there's no quick fix agreeable to all sides. Repeal and replace, it's a nice buzzword, it's a nice slogan, but it doesn't describe what we need to do moving forward. Republicans in Congress haven't yet said what their next move is likely to be. The administration says it's moving on to tax reform. David Wright, ABC News, Washington. Meantime, local leaders are looking to improve health care for Californians. California State Assembly member Todd Gloria hosted a public town hall meeting today. California legislators are pushing a new bill that would create a statewide single-payer health care system. At the meeting, San Diegans shared their concerns and needs when it comes to health care. I think there are so many great things about the ACA, but there's definite improvement um, for the people who are paying way too much per month and their copays are still too high. California legislators passed a single-payer bill back in 2006, but Republican Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger vetoed it. Meantime, a group of Democratic senators are introducing a bill that would make White House visitor logs public. It's called the Making Access Records Available to Lead to American Government Openness Act, or the Mar-a-Lago Act, after the president's resort in Florida. The bill would require the release of visitor logs wherever the president conducts business. He spent five weekends in Mar-a-Lago since he took office. Taking a live look outside now, it's a sunny day in San Diego, but guess what? It might not last. 10 News Pinpoint Weather Anchor Jennifer De La Cruz tracking another chance for rain tonight. Yeah, we've seen those clouds continue to build throughout the day, and it's going to stay that way as we head into the evening hours. Right now, though, it's beautiful outside. A lot of people enjoying the beach out there in Cardiff. Not too bad. Good amount of sunshine, but we do have some scattered showers moving in tonight. Temperatures around San Diego County, mostly in the 60s right now. 68 degrees in downtown San Diego, 63 in Carlsbad, 66 in El Cajon. Tonight, we'll be dropping down to 53 degrees on the coast with some scattered showers moving in. Same story for your inland communities with a low of 48 degrees. Mountains, a little bit gustier winds up to 40 miles per hour. Your deserts, same story, a little bit windy over there. And as we mentioned, that chance of rain moving in overnight coming up. I'll pinpoint hour by hour when that rain is going to make it here in your seven day forecast. All right, Jennifer, we'll wait for that. Now to a recall alert. Nearly a million pounds of breaded chicken products may have metal in them. OK Foods has received five complaints of metal fragments in frozen chicken nuggets, chicken fingers and other breaded products. The company says the metal is from a conveyor belt. The chicken is sold under brands like Walmart's Great Value Foods and Spring River Farms. The products have the number P7092 printed on the USDA inspection mark. We have a full list of the recalled chicken products on 10news.com. Well, now to new developments. A U.S.-led coalition says it may be responsible for an airstrike that killed more than 200 Iraqi civilians. The Pentagon is launching an official investigation into the Mosul airstrikes. The Pentagon says the coalition was targeting Islamic State fighters and equipment. If confirmed, it would be the deadliest civilian incident since the U.S. joined the fight to retake Mosul back in 2014. Well, there are new details tonight. A North Carolina man accused of firing an assault rifle inside of a D.C. pizza restaurant pled guilty to gun charges in federal court yesterday. Prosecutors say Edgar Welch walked into the Comet Ping Pong restaurant and fired shots. He admitted to driving to Washington with three loaded weapons. Welch says that he was there to investigate a conspiracy theory known as Pizzagate. Fake news reports online had claimed the restaurant was a front for a child sex operation involving Hillary Clinton. Welch did not harm anyone and surrendered. His sentencing is set for June 22nd. Well, actors, friends and fans gathering to honor the late actresses Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher. The famous mother-daughter duo passed away three months ago. Stars like Dan Aykroyd and Griffin Dunn attended the memorial at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Los Angeles today, where Fisher and Reynolds are buried. 
The pair died just one day apart in late December. A new today, if you fly out of LAX, expect better service in the future. According to the LA Times, the airport is spending $1.6 million to train employees to give, quote, a gold standard service experience. Well, that includes all airport workers and people who work at airport restaurants and shops. They'll be tested by undercover shoppers to see how they are doing. The runners tonight are resting up their feet after crossing the finish line at the Wigan Out for San Diego Seniors 5K. The race was held in Pacific Beach this morning. The event raises money for the Meals on Wheels program that delivers meals for thousands of senior citizens in need. It means just a whole bunch in terms of good feelings after we're done and we know we've helped somebody. Last year, that race raised more than $4,000. The numbers this year are still coming in. Well, no signs of spring in Northern California. The chain reaction that left drivers stranded in the snow for hours. At a cow on the run, the moment an animal turned the tables on the officer trying to catch it and made a getaway. Scattered showers are popping up around the county. I'll pinpoint when the skies will clear. Coming up in your seven day forecast. 10 news this morning.